18 minutes to 8 for Metric on Homes. Nearly Meadows very shortly is going to join us. Uh, can't wait to talk about uh, the Women's League kicking off Friday tomorrow night. night. Very and, exciting. Uh, big new signing can't for Triple nice. M footy is Nearly, which is going to be fantastic. But in the meantime, let's just uh, duck into the city. David Zeta yeah. is our young gun on the spot. We had the homeless uh, kicked out of Flinders Street Station. I think they might have set up camp just around the corner from what I'm reading this morning. So, David so Zeta. it's interesting. The, uh, <laughs> the, the language has changed, us from homeless to rough sleepers. Uh, because uh, the uh, officials believe that uh, those who were uh, uh, up for getting relocated to housing took up that option. So we're not quite sure where it is. Is it the protesters? There's a lot of uh, familiar protesters down there yesterday who were down in Bendigo Street in Collingwood over the summer. Yep. And What's their what's background? Who who were they? Well, it's it's a different thing. It's not about homelessness there. They are looking for public housing. Um, There's a, a fair few squatters and all various people there. So this is what we're trying to get to the bottom of who's actually... You know, yeah, because what happens is you get genuine homeless people who are in need of help, who are now getting lumped in with other people who are political activists and running a different agenda. So, uh, in, in fact, down at Bendigo Street, it was a, a, a collision course between those who had been put into the houses, which uh, some of which are run by uh, the Magpie Nest, so I declare my interest there, who are actually being put in by the Salvation Army, and then were getting terrorised by other people there who were squatters and uh, making things very hard for them in that situation. They didn't go easily yesterday, did they? No. Well, like trying to get Julian Assange out of the Ecuadorian embassy, well, I would say. Well, you know, there's police assaults. Uh, there was a, a was all camera was smashed, and David Zeta is down there at the moment. It's in Paul's Cathedral. G'day, David. Hi, Eddie. Look, it's a, a blue sky, the sun shining on St. Paul's Cathedral. It's a bit chilly. Uh, and then you look straight down, and there's a, a man urinating, gurgling, and spitting on the stones of St. Paul's. So it's not an ideal situation. There's about six homeless men and women stationed here uh, just around the cathedral. I've done a lap, and there's one here in particular. His name's Stewie. Uh, he's 40 years old. He's been homeless for 13 years. He wasn't one of the homeless people at Flinders Street yesterday, but he's definitely someone who has a fair bit to say about what happened, and I'll put you on to him now, guys. All right. Good on you, David. Let's uh, have a word to Stewie. Hey, hello. How good morning, Stewie. Stewie, now t- just give us, if you can, a little bit of your background. You've been homeless for how long? Uh, nearly 13 years. Okay. Where are you from? Um, Melbourne. From your Melbourne bloke. Where, where have you been yeah. living for the last 13 years? Uh, CBD. Right. So you, you are a genuine homeless person who has had long-term difficulties. How, how come you haven't been able to find a home in that situation, Stewie? Uh, because there's just no housing, uh, affordable housing. If you want to pay three, four hundred dollars a week, which we can't afford anyway, then maybe you could get into private housing. But as far as uh, grooming houses and all that, they're just violent and dangerous places to be. Yep. Um, and for us that have moved forward and that aren't drinking and carrying on anymore, um, we need a permanent place to live. And Stewie, that's a really good point you make because the rooming houses are disastrous, as you say. So you're saying there is a, a, a crack in, in the pavement, pardon the pun, where things are falling through at the moment between those people who are moving into rooming houses who have got drug and alcohol and maybe mental issues and other people who are trying to get their life right but can't get into the system, which is what Magpie Nest is trying to address at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, but plus, there's also no way for us genuine homeless to separate ourselves from all the rest of the drama that's going on. Stewie, can I ask, you sound like a, a young man. You sound reasonably intelligent and smart and coherent. What, what's precluding you or why have you had it, found difficulty getting a job over the last 13 years? Um, well, I had a motorbike accident a while back. I yep. broke my leg and my back and my hip and all that. Yep. So I'm a bit, uh, I can't work at the moment. But hopefully within a few years, if this all starts to heal, I can get back into some sort of something. And so have you had found people like the Salvation Army and the and the resources yeah. that are around, are they helpful to you? Is there, there seems uh, some services no, we, there? We don't really see the Salvation Army on the street anymore, um, unless you actually go up to the Salvation Army, which it's mostly uh, students and stuff that go up there now. So, Stewie, I mean, why don't you go up and uh, and see uh, Brennan Noddle? Uh, we, we have a, a housing scenario that we uh, help with the salvos called the Magpie Nest. We uh, have yes, I know two... all about the Magpie Nest, and I know about Brendan. Yeah, I've met Brendan, he knows me personally. Yeah, so why can't do? You, how come you're falling through this crack? Uh, well, I just don't like uh, the uh, the uh, re- how how would you call it the the uh, re- I don't pretty much like what the Salvos represent. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's the Collingwood Football Club doing that as well. So it's, uh, well, I don't like the Collingwood they're, Football Club they're, either. They're, that's, that's what, what that I would object to. Is it the religious aspect? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, that and just, yeah, just uh, general... 
well, uh, aspect of the Salvation Army. Well, park the Salvation Army for a moment because uh, Brennan not only acts for us as, uh, in procuring case workers. I'm interested, there, Stu, where, where are you going to sleep tonight, though, Stu? What, what, what's your plans? Where do you go from here? I'm on the street. So you'd rather do that than um, than go down the path of finding something that's available? That's that's more appealing to you, is it? Uh, no, it's just not. Uh, it's just not feasible for where I am in my life at the moment to be doing such a thing. So, Stewie, if I said to you, go up and see Brennan Noddle today, and we'll try and find you a place, would you? Would you be able uh, yeah, to do well, that? Uh, is that a rooming house or is that a standalone place by myself? Well, I don't know. If we can't. You know, I'll find it. Well, not a rooming house, but I presume I'm not sure what the situation but, is. There but, would be rooming house or boarding house, yeah. which is being put in with alcoholics and drug addicts. And no, all no. Rest, well, in fact, the, is... no. The Magpie Nest is exactly the opposite of that. The Magpie Nest was established as yeah. a as a safety net for that situation where people were getting, particularly women, were getting put into these situations. Yeah. Yes. Have you actually met some of the people that live in these properties and actually come out and been seen some of these properties? So you feel safer on the street? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Then a rooming house, yeah, that's a, that's a fair comment. Rosie's talking about the Melbourne City Mission, which is uh, you know non-religious based. Is that is that an option? Uh, we don't even know who they are. They don't help us. Yeah. Right. There's no there's no actual teams out on the street at the moment helping any of Melbourne's homeless. Now, Stewie, people listen to you, and Mick put the question before pretty well to you. You're a smart, articulate guy who is making perfect sense here. Can't you get up and walk down the street and, as they used to say, God helps those who help themselves a bit? Give, you know, uh, if you don't know the Melbourne City Mission, I mean, they are around the place. They're not that hard to find. Yeah. I mean, it's 13 years. There's nothing for you. There's no job that you can do or, or that, that you can follow in no, any no, way. No, no, no. All right. right. Okay. Well, we need to help you, mate. Well, yeah. we don't, we're not trying to. We're not trying to punch up on air or yeah, embarrass no, no, you. We're, we're trying to understand I'm your not, situation. I'm not, yeah. I'm not physically in that able at the moment to do anything like okay. that. Okay. Are, are you on uh, social security or anything? Uh, yep, yeah, Centrelink. Okay. Well, that's good. So you're getting some money coming through. So really, you, you've so you've got the income there. You just need to find a place that is suitable right, for suitable it. for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, mate, just stay alone. Oh, we know where to find for, you. Suitable for each person is, needs to be done on an individual basis. Yeah, but you but can understand, you can understand Stewie, how, how, impossible, how impossible that is. Well, not really. If you're housing people properly the first time, you're not going to have to keep housing them 50 times, are you? Yeah, I know, but if there's 1,500 it's homeless people, there's not 1,500 houses. It's around not, there's not 1,500 homeless in the city at the moment. Right. Okay, well, let's uh, get on with it. We'll there's probably Stewie. 30 of us. Is that right? Yeah. Well, very interesting, mate. And we appreciate the fact you've been uh, so Good candid you, and upfront and prepared to have a chat to us this morning. And uh, let's hope there is a way to solve your issue, mate, uh, from, yeah, from no any end we can help. Cool. Thank you. Good on you, Stewie. Sitting out the front of St Paul's Cathedral. and uh, Now, the first reaction from some people will be... Well done, David, the old, by the way. That was the good. Well done yeah. from yep. David Zeta. Yep. Uh, actually, I want to get David back on if we can get him on. I want to know about the bloke who's just urinating on the St Paul's Cathedral when there's public mm. toilets about 20 metres away. Um, but... Um, you know, the old saying, beggars can't be choosers. But that doesn't mean, in that situation, I agree with Stewie, some of the most horrific places in Melbourne are the boarding houses where people are forced into. And in fact, that was the reason why we established Magpie Nest, because there was this uh, horrible situation. Yeah. So, but, but the categorisation of the homeless camp, at least the one in Flinders Street, is that it's rife with the type of people he's saying he doesn't want to sleep with, uh, yeah. with anyway, which is drug addicts and alcoholics and the rest, if you yeah. believe that. Characterisation. So it seems to be there's a, a few subsets in there. There's the professional protesters who have appeared yesterday and caused a, a havoc. The, you know, Channel Nine last night had one bloke on a split screen who's at every fight that's uh, that's on in the city. Yeah. He just has a looks like an anarchist type of person who wants to have a crack at the Victoria Police at any opportunity. You've got genuine homeless people who are in that situation. It's Stewie's in, yep. and you've got people who are. Uh, maybe backpackers, uh, beggars, using uh, that as a way of procuring money, and then another group who are just uh, either mentally or uh, through alcohol or, or drug abuse uh, incapacitated and need to find some help yep. as well. Need to, find, uh, need to find a break right now. Right. Nine minutes to eight. Nearly Meadows, our special guest. That's coming up next here on Triple M's Hot Breakfast.